Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Well, none of you pregnant ladies had any calves. Doesn't look like it. Come on, girls. Go in your stalls. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome back to my channel today. Today is Saturday, May 30th. And I hope everybody's doing great today. I'm doing okay. And uh, just got done, uh, well, I got done feeding the cows and I had to put an oil sample in the mailbox because last night I started changing oil on the TG210. I did not get done. And that's what I'm gonna finish up right now is get that oil changed and then um, Because we need that tractor because we got to hook up to the disc take that over to that other field Because my brother he got done plowing last night on that field That's 12 miles from here. And so he's got to hook that up to the disc Take that over there and he's got to probably disc it That 25 acres or so that he plowed he's got to go over a couple times because it's got some sod in it and stuff so but in the meantime, while I'm finishing up that, he's gonna take the loader tractor and he's gonna take that dump box, that high dump box that's uh, right over there. And he's gonna take that over to the welding guy. And so, cause that, we need to get that ready for chopping hay. We would like to start chopping hay. Um, hopefully get things going next week or yeah, towards the end of next week or something middle of next week but uh, yeah so in the meantime I gotta change oil finish I gotta get the oil put in here I gotta put the filter on put the drain plug back in my brother's gonna do that and then he's gotta hook the disc up and grease it and then I gotta work at the feeding chores and then I gotta finish up the corn planter get the boxes back on there and the, the corn or the finger pickups and try to get the drill off of this um, Donahue trailer and then have to pull the hook up to the corn planter, pull the corn planter out, pull the fertilizer spreader out and then back the grain drill right up by the, right behind the um, corn head for the combine. So that's what's on the agenda for today. Will it all get done? Well, we'll find out. Okay, got the oil all put in the tractor here. Um, we're gonna have to obviously blow the radiator out, take it up in the air and blow it out. And let's see, we're gonna, we've got this little tiny issue over here too. It's a little coolant leak. I think the clamp needs to be, the line needs to be slid ahead more in the clamp. Or, yeah, repositioned or whatever. So no big deal, but I think we'll take and blow it off again. Blow out the radiator and uh, It should be then the tractor should be good to go and I'm gonna let it sit again and then check the engine oil I just checked the transmission oil and that looks good so <sighs> I want to make sure the tractor is in tip-top shape and the tube probably wouldn't hurt to uh, check the filter things up there too
Okay, I just got my brother going here and on the last bean field that we planted, whichever day that was, <laughs> it was just a couple days ago. So he's gonna get this drug and then I'm gonna go back to work at the feeding chores. Okay, um, I just got done putting the high moisture corn on a little bit ago and uh, I was just looking at the corn here and you can definitely row it a little bit better now. Uh, these are some of the, these are the end rows. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's definitely coming up a little bit better here now. If I can get an actual row. Yep. It's coming up pretty good. So, uh, yeah. It does need a little more heat, though. But it, it sounds like it's going to get warm here next week. We're supposed to get some warm, warmer temperatures. So, that's going to really make that corn grow then. And hopefully get the beans out of the ground. So, anyways, I'm going to go back to loading up the feeder wagon. And then I'm going to grab a bite to eat. I'm starving. I got the cows fed and I watered that one um, got that one sick cow watered and so everybody knows she's getting better uh, or probably tomorrow we're gonna put her in with the dry cows because so that way she can go in the dry cow shed and get some shade because tomorrow it's gonna be warm and yeah by the way too it is another day just so you know <laughs> I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but yeah, and it is a cloudy, a cloudy day. We're hopefully going to get some rain. We do need some rain, a good half inch or an inch of rain. I don't think would hurt anything right now. Um, I mean, everything could use a little shot of rain. And uh, yeah, so anyways, what the plan is here for today. And it is the afternoon here, by the way, too. We got all the cows milked and all that stuff done. Except I just got to work at the feeder wagon. But anyways, well, besides that, what we're going to do here. And I know I mentioned this yesterday. Um, we got to get the corn planter last night. I came out here and I got it all switched back over to corn. Boxes are back on. The population is set for corn. One thing I gotta do is come back in here and I gotta grease it. I gotta hook it up, pull it out, get the fertilizer spreader out, clean up this other stuff here. These, uh, get all this stuff out here and then get that drill off that tr Donahue trailer that's ours. Back the drill in here and then get this on the Donahue trailer. So, uh, and then my brother Pat, he was gonna go and dis start disking, do some more disking in that field that my brother, um, that it's about 20, 25 acres, um, that sod that he, or pasture, whatever, part of that pasture he broke up, he's gonna go up there and disk that, so. And uh, so, in the meantime, I'm gonna work at feeding here for a little bit, and then and my brother, he gets, he's gotta finish up a few things up in the barn, and then maybe we'll work at this together and get this all done, and I might, I might go up to or to Watertown, the big, the bigger town that has more stuff on. I might get some different. I'm gonna keep these boots, but I just want some regular work boots to wear because uh, right now these boots are they're kind of hot. 
and they're fine just for wearing for a little while for doing the milking and stuff like that but I need to get some other boots because they're kind of on my back and my feet and it's actually killing my feet too and it affects your back and everything else so we're gonna see if I get time to get the different pair of work boots today too so we will see what we can accomplish I am gonna get all that stuff moved around here. All of that uh, equipment moved around. Uh, my brother Steve, he took that Donahue trailer, that other Donahue trailer back, the one that we were borrowing, and we were using it because if you're new to the channel or anything, we just bought this one um, last fall, the Donahue trailer that this drill is sitting on. So, so the first thing you need to do is get the corn planter out, get the fertilizer spreader out, and then get that trailer pulled up someplace out in the open, get it off here, and then put the corn planter on here. And da, da, da. well, I already explained it earlier, so so I'm gonna set you guys up someplace, and we'll do a little time lapse video, and you can watch the whole thing unfold. I just don't think I'm gonna make it to Watertown to get a different pair of shoes today. Um, I usually like to get those steel blue work boots. I feel like they're the they're the best. I think they're made in Australia. I think that's where they're made. In Australia. I'm not for sure. Is it Australia or New Zealand? I don't remember where they're made. But anyway, so uh, I'll set you guys up someplace. Like I say, you can watch the whole thing go down. Well, there you have it. It's all done. Um, the planter is all ready to go, except I just gotta, I just need to grease it, and the tractor's gotta be fueled up on the way out. So tomorrow, Monday, it should be Monday, June 1st. Um, if, ever, if, ever, if it doesn't rain, the truck may be a chance to rain tonight. So if it doesn't rain much and everything goes good, hopefully tomorrow we might start planting that field. That's about 70 acres that we got to plant, so yeah, that'll be our biggest field of corn that we have. So a total, we'll have just a little bit over 100 acres of corn. Let's see this. Yeah, we should. Well, yeah, yeah, it's about. We'll have just a little over 100 acres. Maybe about 100, 104, 105 acres of corn. I know it doesn't seem like much to most people, but. You gotta remember too, we got other crops, we got soybeans, and our land is divided up between soybeans, small grain, and pasture, and of course, corn. So, yeah. So, yeah, it worked out nicely for the drill to fit back in here. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I gotta go in water, give the milk cows some water out the pasture. Basically, it's because like a day like today, the wind is out of the, is blowing out of the southeast, 
That way we could bring the water tank to wherever the cows are because when the wind's out of, if it's out of the south, they're gonna wanna stand towards the south and out of the north end, they're gonna wanna stand in the south. That way it reduces, um, it reduces uh, foot traffic. Otherwise you have all that foot traffic going one way to the water tank. This way, we just move the water tank around out here. And that way you don't get, it doesn't wear the pasture down so bad. So uh, that's kind of why we do it. And this, this water tank that we have, it's the right size. So it's enough water for the cows. So it's the time they're out here. So uh, busy drinking away. Well, I better get back up to the yard and uh, do something else here. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be walking back. The tractor ran out of gas. And actually, I might have to run to town and get some more gas, because we don't have any more gas in the farm, so I might have to go to town and get five gallons of gas. Oh, darn it. I gotta walk all the way back there. Oh well, it's a nice windy day. I mean, it's a nice day. So, which I complain about. So I'll have to drop here and put the gas in it again. Oh. Okay, I just put the A in there because um, over here the plow is parked up here and I don't know if I could squeak it in there good enough or not. I probably could have gotten it in there, but oh well, it fits in the calf barn. So anyways, I got one more thing I want to show you here before I end this video and I'll just show you here in just a second. Okay, we're out here in the bean field. And as you can see, the beans are poking up. So, some places are a little bit slower than others. I don't know why. But it is dry. Huh. They're coming, but it's kind of hard to tell where the row is. But, anyways. They're coming up. There they are. There's that row there. They're, they're coming. But uh, we do need some rain. Hopefully a half inch of rain would be nice. 
an inch would be better probably but I want to get I do want to get down with that corn but so but yeah that anyways that's that's what the deal is yeah the beans are coming up hopefully this will be a clean bean field we haven't spread any manure on this field for two years um, we put compost on it last year and this year and uh, we drug it twice so before the beans came up we got a drug herald or whatever you want to call it so hopefully um, it should be good now that we uh, it should be a pretty clean field for beans hopefully an organic clean field you know now I just gotta wait for them to get up tall enough come in here with the cultivate it two times and it should be good to go so anyways that's about it I'm hungry I gotta eat some here yet and uh, Oh, I wasn't planning on going to town and get some gas for that tractor, but we're gonna order some gas, have the, order some gas in bulk tomorrow. So we'll have some in bulk so I won't have to deal with running to town and getting five gallons of gas at a time. So, but uh, yeah, so anyways, um, that's about it for this video. Tomorrow, Monday, hopefully, hopefully maybe we'll get started planting corn, we'll see. My brother Steve went over there with the digger to start digging the field. My brother Pat, he's over there disking, disking that soddy stuff up that that uh, my brother Steve plowed. So hopefully, if everything goes good, fingers crossed, we can get that start planting it. I guess if it rains, it, it rains. So if it's 88 day corn, so it's it's gonna mature in time. It seems like things have been going. The weather's been nice, a lot nicer this year than last year. Like I say, we're actually a little bit on the dry side, so we could use a little shot of rain. So, anyways, guys, that's it. So please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, please don't forget to share this video with a friend or family member. And most important, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, and leave any comments or questions down down below. So. Anyways, guys, have a good evening. Take care, and uh, I'll catch you later.